and welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to another midweek preview. This week, previewing the Carabao Cup games. And we're going to start off with an all Premier League clash on Tuesday Arsenal versus Leeds. And this is an interesting one. Arsenal um, look really good in that 3 1 win over Villa, but I expect them to rest players. But to be honest, you expect Leeds to rest players as well. So you could say it kind of comes down to who has the best squad depth. And to be honest, I think that'll be Arsenal, especially with home advantage. I'm going to say 2-0 uh, no Arsenal win. Moving on, Chelsea host Southampton at Stamford Bridge. And yeah, this is another interesting one. Chelsea, blimey, they looked good last time out um, against Norwich. 7-0 win. Southampton held by Burnley. I think they'll be frustrated like that, so they want to bounce back. But yeah, like most games in this competition, I think it just comes down to how much the players want it. Uh, who, how many players will rest who but even though I do think the second team in Chelsea could still probably beat the first team in Southampton so yeah that kind of made me think it will be Chelsea when I've got a feeling they might have put a strong team now I'll say 3 now. moving on QPR I'll take on Sunderland at um, Loftus Road and yeah QPR um, they're starting um, to find some form again or at least I did think they were uh, before that 2-1 loss to Peterborough um, but Sunderland, they lost to Charlton last time out, but before that they've been on a very good run. Um, so yeah, it's both teams really wanting to consolidate form. Um, but yeah, QPR obviously in the division of Gav, I think they'll have to be considered favourites here. Uh, but I don't think it'll be easy, I'm going to say a narrow one nil win. Moving on then to Wednesday's game where Burnley hosts Tottenham at Turf Moor. And Burnley, um, yeah, to be honest, I think they'll rest some players here. Um, obviously the league hasn't gone to plan for them so far um, so yeah they'll want to get some um, um, fresh legs ready for the league um, but then Tottenham they've lost the last two so I need a win here good chance to progress our last eight of the tournament and I do think they'll do exactly that I think it'll be a 2-0 Tottenham win moving on then to Leicester versus Brighton um, again it should be really interesting Leicester obviously um haven't had the greatest start to the season, but they're definitely picking up now. That's three wins in a row in all competitions. And then you've got um, Brighton, who are actually winless in four now, um, but they've drawn through those. So, yeah, they'll want to get a win back. But, you know, Leicester, just as they see, seem to start hitting form, it might not be an easy game for them, especially Leicester. They're the sort of team who wants to make cup finals. Um, but I'm going to say draw with Leicester winning on pens. Moving on, West Ham take on Manchester City at... Um, in the London Stadium and yeah we know how seriously man if you take the Carabao Cup West Ham I doubt they'll take it that seriously if I'm being perfectly honest um, so yeah fully expecting a City win here um, and it probably will be quite comfortable um, just because I can see David Moyes resting players but uh, Guardiola just doesn't seem to do that um, so yeah I'm going to say a 2-0 City win to be honest but moving on it's Stoke versus Brentford at um the Bet365 Stadium. Stoke, um, yeah, it's not gone to plan for them recently. That's three losses in a row now uh, against the Brentford side that have lost two in a row. Although Brentford's games have been against Chelsea and Leicester and they've given both of them a really good game. So, you know, I wouldn't say Brentford are in bad form, to be honest, or anything like that. Um, and, yeah, I do think they have more quality than Stoke and this is a great chance for them to progress into the next round. And I think they will do exactly that. I'm going to say 2-0. And then moving on, Preston hosts Liverpool at um, Deepdale. And, yeah, the result isn't in question, I don't think. But, you know, I don't think it'll be as easy as some people think because, obviously, Liverpool, um, we know how much they rest players in these sorts of games. So, yeah, I'm not expecting it to be a high score line. Uh, well, 5-0 low score against United. I'm sure Preston will give them a game. But in the end, Liverpool will probably run out eventual comfortable 3-0 winners or something like that. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for that short Remember to like, share, subscribe, and any thoughts, comments, down below. Follow me on Twitter, link description for daily football news, and subscribe to my channel on the screen right now. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching. Peace.